When Robert was a boy down on Sandbanks, living in tied accommodation to the Sandbanks Hotel where his father was the maintenance engineer. One of his few neighbours was a gentleman called Tony Cripps who had motorbikes and interesting cars. And I guess he was the gentleman that inspired Robert's enduring love for motorbikes and encouraged his interest in good mechanical engineering. Hence the link through to the Bruffs. He even advised him on his first motorbike purchase and thus started Robert's passion. I first met Robert White in 2012 when he was referred um, to me as a private patient. Over the three years that I treated him, I got to know him pretty well and we discussed his hobbies, including his collection of motorbikes. It also became apparent that whenever he bought anything, he didn't buy just one, he bought the best and he usually bought three or four or sometimes six of the same thing. If it was good enough for him to buy, he wanted lots of them, hence he ended up with these collections. One month where I went to give him his injections, he phoned me up early in the morning and he said, uh, he said, Mark, I'm at work today. Come and give me your injections uh, while I'm at work, which he was obviously very proud of where he worked, he'd, uh, very proud of what he'd built. So I walked into what I thought was a normal uh, warehouse shop. It went through multiple doors into these warehouses full of motorbikes. I couldn't help but be completely amazed by these many, many motorbikes that sitting there that he'd collected. And there was this giant lathe that he had. It was a massive piece of machinery. It was there to machine a small clip, I think, for one of his cars. So he'd bought a magnificent piece of machinery in order to manufacture a very small part for one of his toys, um, which was Robert all over. He'd prefer to make something himself at a significant cost rather than pay somebody else. But that was him, that was him. I really wanted this opportunity to uh, demonstrate the reach of Robert's legacy. I have been really fortunate to have my service supported by the legacy and it's transformed what we're able to offer patients. My specialty is actually in restoring airway voice and swallow and many patients with cancer suffer from difficulties in this area and when we think about a patient's life and what brings quality to life but if you can keep them speaking and swallowing then it makes an enormous difference and uh, without Robert's support we wouldn't have been able to to do this and we now have a service that is nationally and internationally renowned and touching the lives of so many patients so I just wanted to thank Robert for all his support. This Robert White Centre is just one of the amazing things we've been able to do with the enormous legacy that, that Robert left us, which amounted to more than £10 million. I did have this amazing last appointment with him. He presented to me in clinic a cheque with £3 million written on it. An incredible thing to receive. The cheque was the result of the sale of his motorbikes to the talk show host, Jay Leno. We know that a number of patients have refused treatment at uh, the Radiotherapy Centre at Poole because of the very difficult journey. So the new cancer centre is going to make an immense difference and we are extremely grateful to everyone that has contributed to this project. I really enjoyed visiting Robert in his home. He it was massively entertaining. He was very generous to others. I grew really fond of him. His language was always very colourful, but to me he was a truly great guy um, and it's a pleasure to have known him. Once he was diagnosed and was having to regularly spend time in the company of other people who were ill, he realised how lonely and upset people get in that situation. He wanted to change it for the better so people didn't have to go through that, didn't have to suffer how he was suffering and people he was meeting were suffering. He wanted to make people's lives better for them.